This is going to be video number 76 on your firearms defense channel and uh, this is going to be a follow-up to video number 75 that I made yesterday about the uh, unfortunate shootings in Tucson, Arizona that took place. Specifically and exactly, this is going to be regarding the Westboro Baptist Church and their uh, minister, uh, Fred Phillips. Uh, he made a video that uh, is up on YouTube. In fact, there's a lot of videos they've made that are up on YouTube. The uh, video number, I don't know exactly, it's uh, capital QPKXOQL4XZ. Zero, but uh, you can probably find it just by looking for it. But anyway, he just this video is just a four-minute long hate-filled tirade against uh, the congresswoman and uh, the other people, and uh, it's a hate-filled tirade against homosexuals and sin and people and just everything else. And uh, the only fortunate thing that I can say about this video that he made is that. Uh, People are going to watch this, and nobody is going to take it seriously. No rational, intelligent person is going to take what he preaches in his videos seriously, because truthfully, what this does, it just represents superstition and ignorance in absolutely its worst form. That's, that's just about the most charitable thing you can say about it, and that's all there is to it. But... What I want to get into here is uh, Christianity in general. The whole, whole field of religion has absolutely nothing to offer mankind whatsoever. If we're going to advance beyond the stage we're at now, which is, you know, having wars and uh, killings and everything like that, just on a constant basis, we're going to have to get beyond religion and its teaching and realize that it has nothing to offer. I'll give you a for instance here. Christianity is founded on false premises all the way around. Christianity's first false premise is founded on the concept of original sin. There's no, absolutely no rational basis for this concept whatsoever. The second thing Christianity is founded on is the idea that Christ died on the cross for the sins of mankind and we're redeemed through the blood of Christ. That's an absolutely, completely, totally false and malicious concept. Uh, Jesus Christ was the uh, probably the greatest spiritual teacher that ever existed, and uh, he gave us the only rules we ever need for living, which is the Sermon on the Mount. And his message just got buried beneath this false and malicious idea that he uh, died on the cross for the sins of mankind. So this is going to be a relatively short video, and... Uh, as I say, if we're going to move beyond all this, we've got to get beyond all these religious concepts. Among other things, uh, religion is what enables wars, and uh, just about everybody killed in war, and everybody that fights in war fights and dies in the name of God. And, you know, assuming, of course, that there is a God, which is a big assumption to make, by the way, I can't imagine that he has a any interest whatsoever in how many of us fight and die in his wars and who we kill in his name. I can't imagine he cares about that at all. And I can't imagine that he cares about anybody's sexual preferences. I mean, it's no big deal to him. Uh, maybe in the good old days he needed to have everybody out there, uh, you know, uh, mating with uh, females, you know, and replenishing the earth and the population and all that good stuff. But uh, there's 6.8 billion of us now, so if there's a, a small percentage of homosexuals and uh, lesbians out there, it doesn't matter, you know, God isn't interested. He doesn't uh, need any help replenishing the earth at all. So that's going to do it for video 76. I'm going to close this off, and I'll see you on video number 77.